Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I wanted to give you the resources that I use for my preparation when I'm taking an Azure exam. And this is probably going to be one of the most important video if you were taking and preparing for especially Azure certification, but could be useful for any other certification as well. And I'm going to tell you the resources that I use to prepare myself for exams. So here are some quick tips. Okay, we're going to focus on point four in this video. Okay, but for any exam, I usually try to register until I register, you know, I do not feel like enough push to study and prepare myself so the first thing I do I register for an exam okay you may do it at a later stage move this one later uh, then I try to prepare well as best as I can and I download the exam topics say for example you know if if I'm like studying for AZ301 I would download I would come over here I would look at what are the skills that are going to be measured in the exam and I would download the exam skills and go through and review, you know, what skills is heavily, heavily tested and what other skills may be not so greatly tested. Like if I look at this one, design for identity security, that is the highest amount of questions I would expect from this particular topic, right? So that's the first thing. And then with Azure, I try to gain as much possible hands-on experience experience maybe you're in a enterprise and you really work on Azure every day but you may not have you know a lab environment where you can just do whatever you like right so uh, get a free account that's what I try to do and do as many labs as possible you know go to seminars whenever I see Azure offers lots of uh, videos they're also available and they also have a really great uh, skills learning paths right so I go through all of this and those learning paths sometimes they will have uh, uh, you know they will give you a, a sample demo environment where you can do various kinds of things so if you do not have even any any account you can still go through it so I would do all that and the last thing and but not the least thing is take the press practice exam even you were very knowledgeable you know everything you still I think that you still got to have some exposure to type of exam questions uh, that you might expect in the exam. Now where to get those? Now you can do a lot of different, you can go to Google and look for you know exam dumps and then give the uh, your test that you're taking. You get sometimes a PDF, sometimes some other format. But four sites that I really like and I enjoy and I feel they're very very useful uh, I'm gonna start with the paid one uh, nobody paid me for these videos uh, these are just something that I really like so I, I'm referring to, to you guys this one definitely I would recommend this one I would not but this is an example that I'm gonna give it to you so mind have what it is if you go to the certification page again a lot of times if you look for it you get to some exam play, uh, exam page this is like I just did a Google search AC301, right? So I clicked on the first search result. So I'm on this page. If you come down, yeah, you can schedule the exam from this page itself. And if you look at the bottom, there's an official practice test. And if you click on it, you will, it will go and it's it's going to the Mind Hub. I have never used this product. And if I look at it, it's got three reviews. This particular exam didn't get a very high rating, but you know, I would let you decide if you ever get some more uh, inputs from other people this is only three reviews so i wouldn't pay too much attention to that one but this is a little bit expensive you know 99 to 100 101 dollars the other one that i used uh, typically for, for preparation and and i feel their video courses are very very high quality that's a uh, wiz lab so i have an account with them and uh, if you go to WizLab, uh, what it is, let's just go to WizLab from here. So you can just do a search for a WizLab, just say leave site, and it will give you, just go to the online training and certification, and you can sign up. And this is weird. It says get flat 50% off site-wide, use coupon. This coupon is there for like months now. So what it is, you can go, you can search for courses, 
you can click on my courses it will show up all the courses that I have registered to right now uh, a lot of course courses uh, like AZ301 you just need to search you know 301 and it will like show up you just click on it that's the other way you can get to the course if you have one account you can definitely take the free test okay this is for the free test so you can click on access now and uh, you can start that exam okay just click on free it will open up and give you some questions okay I don't want to give you all the question it will also save the history of the exam that how, how am I doing like for the first time when I took this I scored 53 percent next time I improved a little bit to 86 percent last time I took it I scored like 100 percent okay uh, to start is re really easy just click on start and then start the exam okay that's about it and then it will come up and give you uh, uh, you know a multiple choice exam and stuff like that and you just go through it all the different questions okay so this one cost me probably fifteen dollars and uh, I feel feel like they have really good sample questions that similar to what you might expect in the real exam and they were very useful uh, very helpful okay so let's get out of here the uh, other one that I use a lot is uh, called the IT exam uh, so you just search for IT exam and I'm gonna stick to 301 I have not taken that test so I'm kind of uh, preparing for that one so if I click on that one again so it's, it's I'm using Bing so it's giving you the first link and it says free questions and answers and this one is a web based so if you just click on it okay this is what you get okay so you have a uh, 256 questions somewhere it tells you like when these questions were last refreshed or something like that uh, and uh, you know just go through it and uh, it's just web based you just read and you have multiple choice and stuff like that and I also found that this website is very very good they have very uh, good uh, similar type of questions that you might expect in the exam so if I go back to my uh, notepad so I have talked about this one this is a paid site again they're not paying me it's just something that I enjoy uh, I, I think their videos are also very very high quality I always use them for my preparation a mind hub that uh, by default you get it from many certification uh, uh, the, the, the the page that you land for the first time uh, the IT exams we just covered it's free high quality I use it all the time the other one if you kind of like to simulate the real actual exam uh, this is the one that I would recommend it's called the certbowl.com and uh, this one you actually go to search bowl and again you search for that uh, AZ301 or whatever certification you're doing they will let you actually download a, pr a program that's free and that you will just download it and once you download it you just open it and once you open it it's very very similar to the real exam so I really like this one as well uh, this one also keep tracks of your exam performance uh, for this particular one I see I have 230 questions okay that in the taste bank I can start a virtual exam or start a uh, practice exam and uh, I can go to the exam history and it also stores how I did in every single exam okay so this one again I'm not going to open it just I don't want to expose any of the questions to you you can download it yourself but this is also something that I'm going to highly recommend uh, if you want to get some uh, some practice so use that one as well so and if you're not comfortable like installing this uh, software in your machine you can create a virtual machine and install it in that virtual machine just when you are done with your exam and practice you can get rid of that so uh, but those are the four uh, four resources that I wanted to share uh, if you are if you're not thinking about paying anything just make sure that you use at least two of them and to be honest this those two of them probably would give you you know most of the stuff that you need uh, Wiz Labs the videos if you're really looking for very high quality I would also recommend that uh, website as well I also do Safari books online a lot uh, they also have sample questions and uh, sessions and uh, videos and video courses something else but you know I just wanted to keep this list really short for you so you don't have to choose 
uh, too much do not have to spend too much time doing your research and just get to some high quality material that you can use to prepare and be very successful all right that's all i wanted to share today if you're preparing for a certificate and exam definitely good luck uh, if you like the video and if you think it's useful to you please uh, give me a thumbs up subscribe and share with your friends whoever may be uh, taking this exam please refer to this video thank you Thank you for watching this one and have a great day.